Hey, we are in Audi A7 with MMI system. This is MIP2 based infotainment system and I'm going to show you hidden menus in this uh, in this um, unit. So there are two hidden menus, at least two hidden menus that I'm aware of. First of all, you need to turn on the ignition, wait a couple seconds, maybe a minute for the system to fully load. And then you can use button combinations over here on the control panel to enter the menus. So first menu is the REM, red engineering menu. You need to press and hold back and the upper left button at the same time. Hold them in this position while watching the display. And after a couple seconds, you should see this engineering screen and we have the train version so this is the software version installed in this unit uh, this means that this is a um, MIP2 high system for Europe and rest of the world region and this is the car variant over here Audi 57X and this is the firmware uh, version and we have a couple options like settings system and update so this is the menu that you uh, use to trigger firmware updates uh, and to exit this menu, well, you cannot just press menu or return. You are pretty much stuck over here unless you know how to exit it. And all you need to do is press the same button combination as before. Just keep uh, those buttons, uh, buttons pressed for about five seconds and you will be back to your uh, menu over here. And the second menu is called GEM, Green Engineering Menu. So you need to press back in the lower left and wait five seconds once again and over here on the display we should get the green menu well we are not getting it so let's try again a little bit faster and let, let's hope it will work yeah we have the green engineering menu GEM over here we can go to production and we have a couple options keep in mind that those options will not be available if uh, you don't have the developer mode enabled in the vehicle i will um, post a separate video about this and some information in the description of this video and also keep in mind that uh, since those options are uh, designed for developers there's a lot of stuff over here that you should not have access to because you can just make a mess in your system let me just uh, adjust the brightness so it will not flicker we have some uh, information over here we have the uh, radio control radio car communication options over here for tuner and software download and traces and other things we have uh, we have the mmx mmx uh, options over here this is the mm, multimedia uh, part of the system i believe just please don't change anything over here if you are not sure what you are do doing. And we have some debug options. And over here, I believe there's an option to copy screenshots, for example, to SD1. If you created some screenshots there, they are stored in the internal memory um, as long as you don't copy them manually with this option to the uh, SD1 uh, inserted in the main unit. And to exit this menu, I believe you can just press the menu button and you will be back to your normal operation mode. That's it.